What's good everyone, this is SDJP here to deliver you guys a brand new Pokemon card video. And I'm really excited for what we're about to open today because we have ourselves a Battle Styles booster box, 36 packs from the brand new set Battle Styles that has come out just a week, a little over a week ago. Um, you know, this is a little bit of a shift from Shining Fates, but this set has some amazing art in it and I can't wait to open this up and see what we get. These are some really cool hits that I've gotten from Battle Styles so far on the Build and Battle pre-release kits, actually. So I pulled this Urshifu VMAX Alt Art, which is like one of the coolest cards in the set, in my opinion. Pulled this on my last pack from a Build and Battle kit. And then I pulled this Rainbow Rare Phoebe, which is also amazing, from the last pack of my second Build and Battle kit. So this has kind of been my preview to Battle Styles, and I have to say I am loving it so far. So let's go ahead, let's crack open all 36 of these packs. We're just gonna go th right through these, and let's see if we can get ourselves some, some more alt arts. Um, maybe, you know, a Tyranitar or a Napoleon, but you know, anything is good with me, and I'm excited to see all the different cards that are in this set, and just have a great time. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, we got the wrapper off of the booster box and we're ready to go. I cannot wait. Um, you know, I took off the wrapper off camera because there was this white flaky paint that was just getting everywhere. So I wanted to take it off and make sure my hands were clean so we don't damage any good stuff if we come across it. So this is my first booster box actually. So I'm really excited to open this up and experience this with all of you guys. So There we go, look at that. Got it all set up, just like it is in the stores. So, cool, we got Urshifu and we got an Empoleon right there to kick it off. Um, hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the left side first and we're just gonna go all the way and then we're gonna start with the right and we'll see what we get, guys. Let's go. Pack number one. Really like the pack art in this. I like all of the nods to martial arts and that kind of style here with all of the Pokemon and the themes of the cards. So for you guys. All right. Durant, Purgly, Cool Jammer, Spiro, Zubat, Cubone, Frillish, Blipbug, and Single Strike Scroll of Scorn, and a Galarian Slow Row to kick it off. So we'll keep the hollows there and we'll keep these guys on the left side. So let's go. Next, we got a Tyranitar art. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the alternative arts in this set. Really like the Tyranitar, as everyone else kind of does. And I like the Empoleon. I'm not too sure which one's my favorite. I'm kind of leaning towards the Empoleon, actually. Hot take there. Um, just because he's doing like this martial art thing on a rock with river, like a river flowing, and it's just really cool. I think that just screams, you know, martial art training to me. So I would really like to add this guy to my collection. But you know, if a Tyranitar comes along, a little food coma Tyranitar, I will not complain because that is a beautiful card as well. Galaxio. Rapid Strike Energy. And we got a Single Strike or Shifu V to start it off. And we got this Rapid Strike Energy. So, you know, so far, so good. You know, we're off to a strong start. Enjoying this a lot. We got the Rapid Strike art right there. Yeah, what is your favorite alternative art card from this set? I know there's a good amount um, from the Vs and the V Maxes. There are a handful of them. There's a lot of cool rainbow arts too and some new trainers. All 
Honage, and we got a Houndoom single strike. I really like that hollow. I am a fan of that one, guys. Keep it going. I feel like we're doing like a marathon right here of card opening. <laughs> a Villon and a Boltund. Like the art on that guy. Running through a nice field right there. But yeah, I think this is the most I've opened up in one video. I think my previous I'll have one of everything Shining Fates video was a little bit less than a booster box worth of packs. So. Didn't quite hit it there, but this one definitely sets a record for the channel here. Zubat and a Vivillon. Okay, let's keep it going guys. Going strong here. Let's See if we can hit some fire soon. We've been in a little bit of a drought. But that's okay. Having a good time flipping through these new cards. Cannot complain. All tons and a glaring Mr. Rhyme. Having a good old time out on the town right there. Keep it going. Another Urshifu pack right there. Man, I'm, I've been asking myself recently if the hype of Shining Fates is gonna overshadow this set. I think Shining Fates is still going strong. I think it's only about five weeks old, which doesn't seem like that long at all. Octillery Reverse Hollow, and we got a Drampa just chilling right there. It's a nice one. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people are still, you know, focusing on Shining Fates. Um, maybe they're still hunting for the Charizard. I know many people are out there, or maybe they're trying to collect all of the baby shinies to make that master set, which is, sounds like a very, very long journey. Spoink and a Phalanx Rapid Strike. Yeah, I personally think Shining Fates is not going anywhere anytime soon. There was so much buildup to that set for months. And, you know, I think Battle Styles got overshadowed, especially in the pre-orders and all that um, early on in the year. But I was ready to switch gears and explore this new set, see what it has to offer. We got a Rapid Strike Mustard and a Sandaconda Hollow. Nice. All right, guys, I feel like we're about halfway through the left side. I think we're making good time here. Wanted to make sure I went somewhat fast or we'd be here for a while. <laughs> Hurgly reverse and a victory bell. Look at that. Like the colors in that one. All right, we're coming, coming close to the end of our left stack here, guys. Alright, I 
think I see something. Cherubi and a single strike style mustard. That looks like our trainer card for the set. 163 out of 163 right there. Don't know if the camera can focus there, but that's cool. That is a nice one. Put them right there. So that is our first big hit in a little while. So that is not our secret rare. So we still have a chance, I think, to get something really cool. Hoping for an alternative art something. I'm okay with any of it, honestly. Straighten up the stack there. Galarian Slowpoke, Electabuzz, and a Cricketune V. We'll add you to the collection right there. All right, where are you, Tyranitar or Empoleon? Either one of you can show up. Come right on down. Durant and a Tapu Bulu. Cool. That's a hollow right there. All right. Another Empoleon pack. Are you going to be in here? Yeah, I really, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough decision between Empoleon and Tyranitar. I think Empoleon, he's just, you know, spewing Zen in that alternative art card, so I think I'm kind of leaning towards him, to be honest. Hilarion, Mr. Rhyme, and a Jellicent. Got a reverse hollow right there. All right. Ooh, uh-oh. Mr. Electabuzz got caught in the wrong pile. I'm also very excited for the Matchless Fighter set that came out in Japan, I think the same day as Battle Styles hit in the West. I actually have a couple of those boxes ordered and I'm gonna open some on the channel for you guys. Murkrow and Conkladur. There, now that set has some really crazy alternative arts with the Galarian Legendary Trio Birds, and I really hope we can pull at least one of those. Always excited to open Japanese sets. It's been a little while. The last one I opened, Bronzong and a Drampa, I think was Shiny Star V. All right, last pack magic from the left side. Can we get something here? Energy Recycler and a Meow Stick Hollow. Not bad, not bad. Okay, that was a cool first side of the booster box, so we're halfway. Let's see if we can pull something crazy, guys. It's not over till it's over. We still got a ways to go here. People, a lot of people are saying how brutal the pull rates are in this set. I think we've just gotten so used to Shining Fates and pulling baby Shinies every other pack and getting the Shiny V and V Maxes every so often. Clay Doll and a Licky Licky.
Siege Reverse Hollow and a Prime Ape Single Strike card. Dang, the pile is getting tall. Let's keep it up. Let's keep up the pace here. Uh-oh, <laughs> got ahead of myself there. Fan of Waves and a Steelix Hollow. Cho and a sense of scorch. Wow, he is everywhere nowadays. Followed us all the way from Shining Fates. The homie. All right, guys. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Looking for that next hit. out and oh we got a rapid strike urshifu v that's cool an alternative art card right there i am a fan of this one guys all right there we go 153 out of 163 right there let's go I'm happy about that one. Let's keep it going, guys. I am afraid this guy's gonna fall down on me. Let's position him there. Yeah, I'm not sure what the ratios are in a booster box. I'm not sure if they're set. Um, I think you always have the chance of getting more alternative arts but I think there's like a general ratio that you kind of hit the box. So I'm not sure if that was, if that was our alt art of the box. Energy Recycler and a Corviknight V. Looks like the right side is bringing the heat right now. Maybe we still got a chance guys to pull that Tyranitar. Uh-oh. Maybe that Empoleon, I don't know. I don't know, let's see. But either way, I'm glad to have that guy. Marowak and an Embor, single strike. I like that, that's cool. Ooh, almost got that reverse hollow lost in the pile. Entei and a Stone Turner single strike. First Entei of the box. Ooh, double Cubone and a Clay Doll. 
All right, guys, I think we're almost at the halfway point of our right side here. Still going strong. Let's see if we can get uh, maybe another hit or two. Let's see what we can do here. Carnivine, Rapid Strike, and a Boltons. Not bad, not bad. Alright guys, let's keep it going. Let's finish strong here. Come on, let's get another hit. Grandpa and a Vivalon. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy we got that alternative art. That's a cool one. And it goes perfectly well with the alternative art VMAX one that I have right behind it. So I'm all for that, guys. Dotler and a Tyranitar. There he is. Waiting to see this guy pop up. Very nice. Tyranitar is an OG card. Cannot go wrong with him, but welcome to the collection, sir. All right, guys, we got six packs left, including this guy. Let's see. Let's see if we have one more hit in us. I don't know. I don't know if we can do it guys, but I I am happy as is. Cannot complain. Colossal and an age of slash hollow. Alright guys, we're coming down to the end here. Great first official video for Battle Styles, if I do say so myself. I've been having a blast opening up this booster box. Shell Ascent, Reverse Hollow, and a Phalanx Rapid Strike. We'll take it, we'll take it. Mawile, Gold Bat, Reverse Hollow, and a Prime Ape Single Strike. I think that's our last Tyranitar pack. Another hit. Spiro and a Corviknight V Max. Look at that. Love the colors on this one. There we go, guys. I'll call that the icing on the cake right there. Cannot go wrong with that. Salazzle Reverse Hollow and an Ente Hollow this time. Hello, hello. All right, guys, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's see. I've always saved the Urshifus for the last pack. That's where I pulled the alternate art VMAX and the Rainbow Phoebe. 
they're all buried underneath our pulls from this box though. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can keep the last pack magic streak, but I will say it is quite difficult to keep any sort of streak in Pokemon. So let's see guys. Okay, Electrovire, Reverse Hollow, and Galarian Mr. Rhyme. All right. Well, guys, I think we pulled some really cool cards, and I had a great time opening this booster box. So let me go ahead and get these sleeved up, and then we'll do a quick recap. All right, guys, let's get into the recap of what we pulled. I think we had a successful booster box, if you ask me. So we had a Cricketune V, Corviknight V, Tyranitar V, a single strike Urshifu V, very nice. Then we had a Corviknight V Max. Love the art on this guy. Cannot go wrong with that. And then we had a single strike style mustard trainer card. Really like that card. This guy's got some character in him for sure. And then the biggest hit of the box, the rapid strike Urshifu V alternative art. And it pairs nicely with the alternative art of the V Max. So we have both alternative arts for the Rapid Strike Urshifu card. So that is very cool, guys. Thanks for watching, guys, if you've watched through the whole video. I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch me open this booster box. I'm really excited for this set, and we are not even done with it. We have a lot coming soon. I got three pack blisters, I have ETBs. And then we also have the Matchless Fighter booster boxes from Japan coming in soon. And I'm gonna throw in some of that too so we can check out this new set. And there's a lot of cool new art in that as well for us to enjoy. So thank you guys very much. If you enjoyed this content, consider dropping a like and leaving a subscribe so you guys can stay up to date on any new videos and content that I post. So love to see you guys in the next one. Until then, enjoy opening your cards and peace.